Hello and welcome back to the When You're Podcast, the podcast for when you're doing anything. Today we're talking about when you're finishing a video game. It has come to that point where I feel like everybody who... Hold on. I feel like everybody who right now is like deeply invested in a video game is waiting or is like... I don't know what, what, what to call it. It's just the like... I feel... Like we're in that process, we're in that stage of like everybody's in the in a mode where all of the top video games are kind of like, you know, here and now and we kind of had them for like a little while and we're, I, I, I don't want to say we're, I'm just saying like in a general we. More so, I'm just saying like there are certain things out there that feel like they're coming to a close and we're waiting for the next thing like next year they're coming out with gta 6 and it's like i mean but gta 5 has been out for forever so i i guess that's not like a like a a smart difference right because they've had so much time to prepare i i think i'm more so in a in a sense so to speak and like um what should i say You know how everybody kind of like has a oh a perfect perfect example is like um the Spider-Man games. Okay, this is this is this is a better point. Not the GTA 6. Forget forget I even said that. All right. G I mean uh, blah, blah, blah. Spider-Man 2, right? Spider-Man 2 came out and everybody was really hype on that and you could still play and there's still stuff you can do. You can be interactive with it. You can play. You can do all kinds of stuff with it, right? But like when it came out, it was like the talk of the town. Everybody was in love with it. Everybody was uh, playing it like nonstop. It was like the, the the big game, the talk. Everybody was in love with that game. Nobody could nobody could say otherwise, right? Like it was just everybody was everybody was balls deep in that game. Okay, and then a month or two. After, you know what I mean? Like, you play through it, and then after that, it's just kind of like, ah, you're done, and move on to the next, right? So, I kind of feel like that's where we are. I mean, I, you know, I guess I'm kind of speaking for myself here. I feel like that's kind of where everybody is right now. Nobody's kind of in this new, exciting stage of video games. And I guess that mostly has to do with the companies making bad decisions. I can't go into exact details on like every single game company that has made problems or issues or has done things, has made mistakes. But I guess I'm just kind of talking in a general sense that like it feels more and more that we're missing out on really big gaming moments like we used to. I feel like 2020 was a big big time for video games, especially because we were all stuck inside, but now I don't know, it kind of feels like we're all anxiously waiting for the next thing to come out that's gonna you know, drive push and make everybody like, hype it up again, you know what I mean? I guess that's what the word video games are quote unquote, I mean Video games are great. I don't think they'll ever lose their hype. I'm just trying to like say in a general sense. My point is that sometimes we start something and it's like super hype at the beginning and then it kind of, you know, dies off. And so when you're finishing a video game, I think something we have to focus on or something that I, I guess I want to focus on is the the general fun. Like, do you get what you want out of it? You know what I'm saying? So going back to Spider-Man 2 when everybody was playing it, it's like you got what you wanted out of it, you know? And like you can keep on playing. To this day, you can keep on playing. You keep on doing stuff. You can keep on being Spider-Man. You can keep on being Miles. You can keep on doing whatever you want to do on the game, right? So because it's fun to play. It's fun playing the game, you know? So I guess that's the that's the main extraction from it is like is it fun to continue to play this game? Is it, you know, a good game to start things off? 
if it's a good game, then I typically, if it's a good game, and I mean, good is subjective. You know, some people might like certain games more than others, right? And some people um, might critique it, uh, it, base a good game based off of critiques. So if a credible critique says that the game is good, then people are like, yeah, it's a good game. You know, it's an amazing game. As opposed to like maybe their own opinion. I don't know. It, it, I guess it's all differing opinions. But a good game, when you finish it, it just kind of like... What's the right word? It, it, it kind of... It gives you this heightened sense of quality for the game and for like entertainment and for like what they try to teach you or what they try to tell you. Like I know for a fact that playing God of War, um, you know, the new one, the, the, uh, the Ragnarok. Well, that's the newest one. I, I guess I'm talking about like that. Whatever. You, you know what I'm trying to say. The new God of War series the from 2018 and then the one that came out like in 2022 or 2023 or whatnot. And then um, I think it was 2022. Maybe it was 2021. Anyways, my point being those good games, they they really push your idea of like, okay, now this is what I'm talking about. Like, I can't wait to play. I can't wait to finish. I can't wait to, you know what I mean? Go on this journey of a game, of exploration, of, of you know, this world. You know what I'm saying? And then a bad game. I don't know, dude. I, I feel like maybe a bad game. I'm not saying you would. Maybe with a bad game, it's like you need a lot more of it. Like you need to spend a lot more time on it. I don't know. But if it's a bad game, why would you spend time on it? You know what I mean? Maybe a bad game could be, you know, the poor quality and the short time it takes to beat the game. So maybe maybe those are examples of it. But my point being that those good or bad, right, they kind of have this same moment at the end when you're finishing it and you have to come to a conclusion about it. Like, did I spend my time properly playing this game? Like, was it, was it worth it? Was, was this game like in any way, shape or form? Like, did it give me back what I was looking for? You know what I'm saying? And again, I'm, I'm just saying here that the different types of games matter to different people, you know? So a, a game for me would be something like, I don't know, there, there are any number of games that I enjoy, but like, I'm just going to, I'm just going to throw out like a random thing, like a type of game where it's like, um, a first person shooter game might be more appealing to me and then a less exciting or like something that I don't really enjoy all that much would be like uh i don't know like uh let's just say a cooking game you know what i mean it's like i have to make this food and then blah 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 blah, and i'm just like but it's not it's not for me right when i finish or quote unquote when i'm like had enough of the cooking game then i'm kind of like and it was just like, it's not for me, you know, it's not my cup of tea. But if it was like a good cooking game or like, you know, they had some shooting in there. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. All that I'm really trying to get at here is that when you're finishing a, a game, whether it be good or bad, there comes a point where it's like, I feel like I gained something from this. I feel like I really absorbed a lot from it. You know what I mean? There are certain games where it's like you could play for hours and hours and hours and still have so much more game to play. And for those games or for people who, you know, like those long term kind of story games, it feels like 
I am so invested in this and I have so much to gain from it that I'm really excited to to keep on playing, to keep on going, to spend more hours building or crafting, like Minecraft, you know what I mean? It's just, you keep on spending so much time on it, you know? So at the end of it all, I'm just trying to fi figure out like, when you're finishing a video game, how much, how do you qualify, how do you like, like what's the enjoyment level you know what i'm saying is like and that's why we critique it you know we go like hey this is a 10 out of 10 game i could play over and over and over again i could keep on you know playing this type of game more and more and more but like they have to adapt the story they have to make it new missions they have to do all these other things you know what i'm saying and i guess that's another i don't want to say uh that's another moment where it's like is the replay, is it replayable? You know, does the replay ability, is it high? Can you replay the game again is essentially what I'm getting at here. Like, could you replay... Oh my gosh, I, I'm, I'm blanking on so many video games right now. Uh, if you could replay God of War, for, for example, it's like, yeah, I could play that game again because it's the story is amazing. The action is inc incredible. There's so much to explore. There's so much to do. And I would love to just see the story unfold again and, you know, rewatch it or, or, you know, replay certain moments again and try this new thing or maybe this new combo or, or you know, try this new um, way of upgrading and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's so many ways to go back and redo things and re-enjoy the game that it's like, yeah, you know, I have no problem with that. So it's like, is it good enough to go back? And will that fill my enjoyment? You know what I mean? It's like, it's never going to be the same as the first time you do it, you know, but it's still special. It's still like, I, I want to play this game again, you know? And I, I guess you can kind of, as opposed to like replaying the whole game, you could put more time into it, you know? So instead of like, obviously the, the replay was uh, for games where it's like, there's a beginning and end, but games where it's like, I guess like Minecraft where you can keep on going forever and ever and ever. Um... Or I guess you can start over in that game too, or like build something else. I, I, you know, I'm just trying to like nitpick here, but I'm going way too deep into it. But you can just put more time into it. You can just put more investment into it. You can start over. You could start anew. You could build upon that build that you made, or you know, what I'm trying to get at here. And building up, even though you've already finished per se I think the an example of putting more time or not not putting more time I, I, I guess building up a game or maybe starting over or replaying a game that I have is like The Legend of Zelda is that like, I, I, playing it, you just like, follow, well, you could go any direction you want, but it's just kind of like, at the beginning, or when, when I, I would play it, it was kind of like, I was just trying to figure out how to, what's the right, increase my strength, I was trying to get stronger, I was trying to be powerful enough to take out any enemy and do anything, and solve all the puzzles, and you know, basically just like finish everything, and it got to the point where I was like, man, there's just like, it's endless, it's, it just keeps on going, you know what I mean, that's great, but I was just looking for a way to like continuously build up my, you know, build up link and to become stronger and to become better and all this other stuff and so sometimes I can be a little impatient and I go straight for the story you know what I mean especially if it's like a, a linear story like you have to follow a certain path and whatnot 
But for that one, you can go anywhere. And so I just kind of felt like, yeah, I'm just going to, you know, build up as much as I can to gain as much strength. And in doing so, I will naturally be able to handle anything obstacle that comes my way, you know? So anyways, building building yourself up by replaying a game or, or maybe devoting more time to it, does that ever feel like, oh, now I'm completely finished? You know what I mean? Like I've built up my character to the absolute peak limit and now everything is kind of, uh, for lack of a better word, boring. You know, everything is like so much easier now that's like, man, I've, I'm, I'm too strong now. And it's like, I enjoy the game, but it's not like a, a real challenge anymore. You know what I mean? It's, it's still a, a bit of a struggle. So when you're finishing a video game and you have to start over, do you feel like the game really is the game good enough to give you back that enjoyment? You know what I mean? You already know the story. You already know the game mechanics and how to play. You already know like the secret weapon or the power or everything, like the things that you have to do in the game to win. You know what I'm saying? It's like, how do you how do you get that back? And then for games where it's like not like a beginning and end, you know, you have to continuously devote more and more time and effort into this thing. And it kind of feels like a never ending cycle of like, I have to play this because this event's coming out and then I have to do this because of that. And it just feels like they, I don't, I don't want to say sucker you in, but they, they got you in this loop of like continuous you know, you're going to keep on playing forever because you're invested in it. You've spent so much time on this and you've become so, you know, I don't want to say stuck, but you're, you're, you already know the game perfectly well and you're really good at it. So might as well stick to it. You know what I mean? Keep doing what you're doing. So I don't know. I, I feel like when does it, finish it doesn't really finish but i'm just saying that like if it gets there or when it gets there does it you know does it feel like you're getting getting anything back i feel or do you get what you want out of it you know but i i get it there's a there's a sense of accomplishment in finishing a game you know i remember the feeling well there are certain games where it's like from beginning to end, you're like, wow, we, you know, excuse me. You're like, wow, I, I, you know, I did it. I, I finally completed this, this game or this mission, or I finally, you know, got to the end of it all. And it took hours and hours and time after time, I kept messing up and screwing up and it took me forever to get it done, but I did it and I did it well. And I, guess the one that I'm thinking of is like maybe like Arkham Asylum uh, or like the the Batman, you know, Arkham Trilogy or whatnot or whatever those games are, right? Like uh, there, there's technically four of them, but like there's only really three connected to the studio. So it's like, what what is it? You know what I mean? But I'm just going to say it's like the Arkham Arkham Trilogy. But anyways... I'm just going to use that as a example. It's like you do so much in those games and you progress all throughout the night and you have to figure out clues and you have to beat up people and you have to um, learn new ways to take down your opponent. You have to figure out what they're planning and what's the next step and where to go. And you know what I mean? Like there's there's so much progress in the story and then by the end of it you're like wow I, I that's the end you know that's that's what it's all come to you know you know what I mean it's like I finally finished the game or I finally beat it and I finally know what they were going for and it's like there's no better feeling or sense of accomplishment than that kind of a, a game where it's like man you know there were twists and turns all around this and I had no idea this is crazy you know what I mean or um, maybe you 
the difficulty is really high on the game and it takes time after time after time to win and win and win and fight and win and you know lose and lose and lose and die and win and then die and then keep on you know what i'm saying the difficulty the accomplishment of beating the difficulty is where it's like you know that's where the adrenaline or that that's where that that punch comes from where it's like oh snap like we did it i did it you know what i mean that sense of the the victory the completion of it all and that's a that's a big moment and i i don't know if that enjoyment is appreciated enough i think we kind of become desensitized to it at this point namely because you experience it so often that it's like, oh, finally, you know what I mean? Like, we finally did it. I, I feel that way sometimes when I accomplish something or like, uh, you know, maybe in like a video game or whatnot. And I kind of get this feeling of like, oh, my gosh, like, whew, you know, finally, next thing. You know what I mean? I don't I don't make like a huge deal out of it. You know what I'm saying? And I, I think I like people who do that. I like people who, who make a big deal out of it and just like, oh my gosh, you know what I mean? They go bigger than bigger than life. But when you're finishing a video game, that accomplishment is like a pat on the back. But it's also like, well, everybody finished that game. You know what I mean? It kind of feels like, I don't know, diminishing of it. I guess that's the wrong word, but I, I'm just trying to say that, like, when you're finishing it, it's like, nobody's like, oh, that's a huge accomplishment that you finished that video game. It's like, yeah, it's a video game, you know what I mean? It's like, good good on you that you played it, but, like, that's nothing crazy, you know what I mean? So, is it rewarding, or is it just another, you know, I guess, um, I guess quote-unquote empty trophy or accomplishment for like yeah i beat it so what you know what i mean it's not it doesn't have any any weight to it i guess but it's still fun you know that's where that's where you get the real quote-unquote um get the most out of the game which is i put my all into it you know i used my my brain to figure this all out on my own and I enjoyed it a lot you know what I mean you you got that back you know from putting your 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 energy into it you know so when you're finishing this game I feel like we were taught uh, I I said does the replay factor I mean the replay factor Play is a big um, part of if the game is good or if it's like feeling that sense of accomplishment, I guess. And I guess it also gives us an opportunity to replay it, but be better, you know, adapt better skills, be prepared for that villain that we fought and we lost to a bunch of times, but now we know how to deal with it because we won and we have like new ways to play the game. You know, there's a new way to win. There's a new way to to beat it. You know, different styles of fighting, of weapons we can use, a different way to approach it. And then there's also we know how to win because we've we've beaten it, you know what I mean? So it's not going to be like uh as crazy as the first time when we were figuring it out and we didn't know what we were doing now it's i know exactly what to do and it's not going to take me as long as it did last time because before i had to figure out where i was going or what i was supposed to do and yada 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 so overall when you're finishing the game and you're looking at it after the fact and you're saying i can replay it and it's that good of a game. Now you can kind of go like, I would love to replay this game again and do it better than the first time I did it. And that's another another way to keep on being invested in something that you, you know, I feel, I, I, I buying the games is very, it's not nothing, you know. 
So I just want to make sure that you get the most out of it. I, I, I'm, I'm saying, you know, sometimes it's just like, it's just a video game. Who cares? You know, but sometimes people really put their investments into it. And I feel like they deserve to get the most out of it. And when they don't get the most out of it or they don't get what they're promised, it just kind of feels like a big stab in the back, you know. But anyways, um, I want to say playing with friends only except there's no finishing a game. Well, okay, so let's say you're playing like a co-op game or you're playing a game with your friends or whatnot, right? Then... The game doesn't truly end, you know, because you, you guys keep on playing as much as you want until you're done. But once you guys all decide, like, all right, we're logging out, you know what I mean? We're, we're done for the night or we're done for the day or, you know, we got to go do some other stuff. So that's the most I can play right now. We got to peace out. And you all kind of like split off and go do your own things. I feel like in my heart of hearts, when you're finishing the game, that's where it's like, I don't know. Maybe that's a, a little bit of a, I don't want to say disappointment. I guess it's it doesn't really depend on the video game, huh? Because I'm trying to look at it from the perspective of the video game. It's like, well, maybe a good video game brings you all together to play it and you spend so much hours on it that you build up like this, oh my gosh, that was such a good moment or that was so funny that we did that or this happened and we won and we're better team so we have to switch up next time and blah, 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 blah. So, I don't know. How do you, how do you really tell? I was just trying to look at it from the perspective of like when you're finishing the game with your friends or like you all play together to win the game per se um you know how do you how do you really express like quote unquote a win you know you just keep on playing so it's like there's no end there's no finishing the game there's just the next time you play I and what I mean is, like, when you play Fortnite with your friends, you know, you play to you play against each other, you play together as a team or a squad or whatever, and when you guys are done with it, you guys kind of just move on. You can play by yourself, but I don't know. I guess it just gives you a lot more back. Uh, it gives you back a lot more when you play with your friends, you know. At the end of it all, I guess. Anyways, moving on past that. Then, once you finish the game, there's always the next game. You know what I mean? So, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. is like There's a repetition to the video game cycle, whether it's a linear story or not. Um, it's always, well, they released the game. Now we have to wait for the sequel. They had to spend time and money to, to make it. So, that's going to take like two three four five and in the case of gta 6 it takes like over a decade um and there's also like a bunch of video games out there you can play so it's not like it's not like you're gonna have nothing to play anyways you know there's always new games coming out day by daily you know so you can definitely find something to spend your time on and finding another good game is possible you know it's not like very few and in between i mean you might have to go back a few consoles but you'll definitely be able to find one and i see this a lot with with real gamers is that i mean they typically cycle their games out you know what i mean so if there was like a very popular game back in let's say it's let's say back in 2018 you know They'll cycle it through and they'll kind of like revisit it after a while, replay it. And it's kind of like they've lost, it's kind of like riding a bike, you know, muscle memory. It'll all come back how to play and how to do things. But like, you just got to get back into the groove of it, you know? So in the games that I kind of listed, like, uh, you'll go back to replaying Arkham Asylum and then Arkham City and then Arkham Knight. 
and then maybe you'll play like a newer game right now and then you'll you know what I mean so that way it's like a continuous stream of good games and finishing it and replaying it and having like that that accomplishment of like yep I did it again I you know I'm at, I'm at the top baby so overall what was I really trying to say here when you're finishing a video game I just kind of I feel like getting back what do you take away from it what do you what do you what do you really gain from this whole thing and for me I feel like I gain I really like a good story to a game you know what I mean I don't I don't hate games like Fortnite you know what I mean I they're, they're not they're good games all right they're fun games but I'm just trying to say that like I like a game with a good story, you know, bottom line is what I'm trying to get at here. So when I finish it or when I get to the end of the story, I have a new appreciation for the storytelling of the game and how I have to interact with it and they make me a part of it. You know what I mean? How they use the game mechanics to make, to tell the story and how they do it all together. You know what I'm saying? And in some cases, I find the video games storytelling the longevity of it to be a lot more entertaining than you know movies because the movies only have like you know the 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 some of them have like three hour run times and because of because of that three hour run time um you know people get like really bored of it really quickly and then they come out with like a a series and then it comes out like an hour an episode. And because of that hour an episode, they're able to really have that that more time. But in a video game, you can spend like, you know, 16 hours following a story. And you're actually like playing as the character, experiencing it as the character. You know what I mean? And I just feel like there's a lot more. I really like that aspect to it. So anyways, when you're finishing a video game. I feel like you have to have that understanding of like, was it fun playing it? Is it a good game? Is it a bad game? Did I get the enjoyment that I wanted from it? You know what I mean? Did I did I grab it and did I, did I take it? You know, is it replayable? Can I replay it? Is it good enough to go back and replay it? Is it good enough to like spend more of my time playing it or being into it or, you know, building up the world that I that I enjoy in the in there or starting over from scratch and can I be better playing it again and more often than not the answer is yes to all of those but when you're finishing a video game I feel that you and that I guess I should ask myself is does this game, is this game something I can be happy I, you know, spent my time on? And more often than not, I, I guess the answer is, is yes. Because I, I like the, I like the story of it all. I like the, the, the way to play, you know? Anyways. I guess I, I've, I've rambled off, rambled on long enough. Thank you guys so much for listening. I'll talk to you guys all next time. Thank you.